look at the Grammys and she kind of had a golden and brownish smoked out eye going on she had a lot of contouring going on and her cheekbones were really popping and she kind of had more of a natural berry-ish kind of look on her lips so I decided to recreate the look for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for our new videos every Saturday and let's get started Alright, so first off, I'm starting off with my Makeup Forever Professional HD Foundation, and I'm dotting that all over my face. I'm also putting some down my neck as well. Now using a damp sponge, I'm just going to blend that all in on my skin. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using two different concealers. The first one is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Concealer. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes in two little triangles and then blend it again with the sponge. Now for the second concealer, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and I'm using this just to brighten up a bit more under my eyes because I want it to be more like bright so I look awake and then I'm putting some on my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, my forehead and under my cheekbones. And then again, just blend everything out. Now going in with my Sephora Bright Set Powder like usual, I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes to set it so that it doesn't crease throughout the day. And that's it for the foundation for now. And now I'm just moving on to eyebrows, so using my spoolie, I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows. Now going into my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I'm just going to mix my brown and black shades together and put it on my brows. Looking at Selena's picture from the Grammys, she had her natural brow basically and then just a little bit of color added to them. This eyebrow is a little bit different from the other one, so you're going to see me make a really weird and angry face here, but I'm not angry, I'm just trying to get that arch right. And that's me dancing randomly. Okay, using my Great Lash Maybelline Mascara, I'm going to use the clear one and put that over my brows as a gel, and then using my spoolie again just to set it in place. Now to get the cut grease that Selena had going on, I'm just going to use some tape and angle towards my eyebrows. And then I'm going to add a primer on my lids. This one's from Perry and it's an intensive eyeshadow primer. Now I'm just taking that kind of pinkish shade from my Urban Decay palette and I'm putting that all over my lid just as a base for the eyeshadow. Now I have this little set from Perry, and I'm going to be using that dark brown eyeshadow and I'm going to put it in my crease and I'm kind of going to make two V's on my eyes and I'm going to really really concentrate on making this like really smoked out and just go about halfway across my eye. You want to remember that the trick to any smoked out look is to blend. You want to blend, blend, blend and you don't want any harsh lines so make sure that you're blending a lot. So now I'm just going to add some shimmer to the eye, so I'm going to go into this little palette I have from Maybelline and I'm going to use that kind of like champagne-ish, golden-ish white kind of sparkle because she didn't have like a really gold color it was kind of more like a champagne color and I'm gonna put that all over my lid Notice that she did have a little bit more of a gold gold color in her inner corner just to brighten up her eyes so I'm gonna add that just from the same palette now I'm just
just gonna take off that tape and reveal that nice cut crease. I love that feeling, it just feels so like accomplished. And that's what the eyes look like right now. And then I'm just gonna take that same brown shade that I put on my crease and I'm gonna run that underneath my eyes as well, under my waterline, and I'm gonna really, really concentrate on smoking that out because she had like a lot of smokage going on there. Is that a word, smokage? Then I'm gonna use a dark brown shade from that same Maybelline palette and I'm gonna add more depth. So I'm just gonna keep adding on the brown and really, really smoke it out. Now I'm just adding this black pencil on my waterline and my upper lash line because I noticed that she had that on her eyes. Now I actually didn't have any false lashes on me so I couldn't actually use them so I decided to double up on mascara instead because her lashes were very full. The first one I used was the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes one and then I doubled it with the Maybelline Pumped Up one. And I made sure to coat the back of my lashes as well because I feel like this gives it more volume and it really spreads your lashes out. I also made sure to put some on the bottom lashes as well. And these are the eyes completed. Now moving on to contouring, Selena had a lot of contouring going on, so I'm going into my Kat Von D shade and light palette, and I'm going to be using that middle contour shade, and I'm going to really, really concentrate on my cheekbones here, bringing it up to my temples. I also noticed that her contour came a little bit further than I would normally contour. She brought it closer to her mouth, and I feel like that made her cheeks really pop, so I did that as well. And I also ran some of that powder across my jawline as well and under my chin. So I don't have a nose like Selena, so I decided to contour that as well using the same powder. I just ran some on the sides of my nose. She did have some rosy cheeks so I decided to take my MAC Melba Matte Blush and just top my contour with some blush and gave it a bit of a rosy look. So that's it for the contouring and now I'm going to move on to lips. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Vaseline on my lips just to moisten them up so that they're not dry from all the foundation. And then I'm using this Mauve lip pencil from Avon first just to outline my lips and then I'm using another one from Avon this is rosebud and I'm just filling in my lips a little bit more and then to mattify that I just took a tissue put it over my lips and put some setting powder on top and this kind of mattifies the lips so it looks really cool and this is the final look, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I will do more recreations of different looks that I like in the future. Just let me know in the comments down below if you like this video and give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!